Higher taxes, less spending. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser on the hot seat today as she testified before council about a proposed 2025 budget. This all comes a day after the council approved $515 million in improvements to Capital One Arena to keep the Wizards and Capitals in D.C. Tom Fitzgerald is live at the Wilson Building with more. And uh, Fitz, you were in there today. Council members, none too happy about these cuts. They were not, Jim. One by one, they let the mayor hear about it. Bowser herself testified that her $21 billion operational budget, in her view, has tough choices. However, a lot of council members wanted questions answered about why those tough choices included things like rental assistance, early childhood care, public works, and school staffing, who are now going to have to tighten their belt. Look, Bowser called her budget both sober and shared sacrifice today and said that these hard choices will come across most D.C. agencies. However, this budget also includes a sales tax hike. It's going to go from 6 percent to 6.5 percent next year. So why is all of this necessary? Well, a couple of big factors. The district was facing a nearly $1 billion budget gap and also those federal COVID funds which have been boosting revenues the last couple of years well they are going away Mazur said in her testimony today she's focused on three main priorities in this budget they are public schools public safety and downtown investment in fiscal 25 this saved us approximately 500 million dollars we looked to see if we could go deeper but going deeper would mean cuts to programs that I know none of us would like to touch. Shared sacrifices cannot disproportionately <clears throat> be shouldered by lower income residents or smaller businesses. I do a little bit disagree with the shared sacrifice part because it feels as though we are proposing to balance this budget on the backs of black and brown women. All right. Now, the fact is that the mayor's promises of shared sacrifice, though, are not accepted by everybody. In fact, a lot of people say that coming on one day after the district allotted $515 million for Capital One Arena improvements, that they say that this budget really hurts people in need. Demonstrators who gathered inside the Wilson building while this testimony was going on say that in their view, these shared sacrifices in Bowser's budgets are not being shared by everyone. Budgets are about choices, and the choice to cut early childhood education and other critical services in the district budget is not a fair choice, it's not a moral choice, and it's not a choice about how we make a stronger recovery. All right, so the way forward looks like this. The council is now going to have 70 days, 70 days worth of hearings and public input on this budget proposal. Then it needs to be sent up Pennsylvania Avenue to Congress, who will then have 30 days to either make changes or let it go into effect. Why is that? Well, because the district is not in this state. Congress still retains full authority over the district's spending plan. Live at the Wilson Building tonight, Jim, we'll send it back into you. Yeah, Fitz, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about President Biden's budget, clearly a, a much different, uh, a much more larger mm -hmm. spending plan there. But these are usually wish lists. So when you look at these conversations that have been had at the Wilson Building in the past, how likely is it that we might see some of those cuts rescinded or maybe the sales tax uh, changed a little bit? Well, it's very likely we're probably going to see some alterations on these cuts. You know, member by member came out with their own specific area that they did not like that was either going to see, you know, funding stay flat or actually be cut. But the realities, the fiscal realities, Jim, aren't going to change. Uh, none of that is really going to go that far in closing a billion dollar funding gap. And with those federal COVID funds right now, yeah. the mayor says that, you know, they're really between a hard and a rock and a hard place on trying to get this to be a balance budget and it has to be a balanced budget they can't go into the red on this all right tom fitzgerald of the wilson building the first of many conversations we're going to have on this thanks fitz